everybody, welcome back. It's unboxing and taste test time because today we're here to open up some more hopefully delicious, hopefully not death inducing hot sauces from the Hedonist Hot Ones subscription box. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I have fun doing it. All right, uh, first things first. Uh, if you want to check out the Heatnest Hot One subscription box, I have a link in the description below. It's like after shipping, I get this for $36, and you pretty much always get a deal as opposed to buying these sauces individually. Um, so I will have that link if you want to check it out. <laughs> now, I know there was something else I was going to say. Oh yeah, First We Feast is the YouTube channel. You know the show Hot Ones where they have spicy questions with even spicy, no. We have with even spicy, they're spicy wings with even spicier questions. That's how it goes. So, um, you know, they eat hot wings, each sauce getting hotter and hotter and hotter till you hit that 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10 level. And I usually have my phone on standby so we can look up and see a little bit more about each sauce as we get going. So, before we get into that though, I just want to let you know, if you like the food stuff, especially where we do cooking, because in the middle of this you'll see me cook something to try these wings on, then you definitely want to check out some of the other options we have for you here, other than just my YouTube channel. We, we now have a join button, so we have memberships, different tiers, extra videos over there, I'm doing some extra food videos over there on occasion, a lot more perks than are shown in the listings, so we're kind of figuring that out. Uh, we now have a Discord with a food section over there, I'm often posting if I go out to fancy dinners or showing little previews of what some of the food vlogs are going to be for the membership channel or whatnot, or for Patreon. You can go to patreon.com, look up the Eric Butts, use the link in the description below. A dollar a month, extra video every single day, plus about every week we do a vlog. It's usually some killer cooking. I just did a three hour cooking vlog. I cooked like six things the other day. Trying all kinds of new foods, figuring things out. It's a good time. And of course, we got a merch store. I'll eventually make some movie merch, which or, I mean, food-related merch, which reminds me, I was looking for a food shirt. I grabbed this shirt because he's drinking milk, and I'm like, I'm gonna probably need to drink milk. And then I realized this is much more of a food shirt than I thought, so yay me. All right, now, before we get right into it, one last thing, but this is about the box. We're finally talking about the box from here on out. Um, you notice this box is a little bit different this time. Uh, it's, it's clearly only got two sauces, because what happens when they ship this, it's always in like a black bubble mailer like this, and you can just open that up, pull out the box, and all the goodies are in there. But this time it's like a two sauce box, and then they wrap a third bottle separate, and the uh, card, I'm not reading it, I didn't want to spoil anything, came out separate too, so I don't know if there's stickers in here or what. So we're gonna open these up, we're gonna read about them real quick. I got <laughs> spoons, we'll do a direct taste test right here in this video. Then we'll cut to something I'll shoot in future where I cook, taste the sauces, eat. I'll tell you some more about, I ordered for Christmas, I got some of that more of that Shaquanda spicier smoke, man. Because that's it, that stuff is just mwah. Also, heat in a specific, I finally tried the Los Calientes Rojo. I could just drink that stuff, it is delicious. So, highly recommend you check that one out as well. All right, I'm kind of hoping for more medium mild sauces today. They've been really hot lately, so I'm kind of ready to get some. A little, a little, little chiller, a little more flavor based. I like heat, but I also like flavor. All right, so that's it. Let's open up the, the box, because this actually came out of the top. So we're gonna start with the bottle that's in its own bubble mailer, and let's see what we get. And again, I wait till I open all three to taste test because I, uh, you know, I don't know what the heat order is for them, so. Okay, ooh, this looks good. It's a little dented in where it's a plastic bottle too. But we got uh, Poirier's, Poirier's? Louisiana style hot sauce. Dustin Poirier X, heartbeat hot sauce. So it's a heartbeat hot sauce. I think they sent us the Scorpion one recently. That was really tasty. We have some ingredients. Vinegar, aged cayenne peppers, sea salt, red habanero, celery, garlic, canola oil. That sounds fantastic. Why don't I show you what this looks like? Okay, this one I'm looking forward to. This sounds very tasty. You can see it's got some nice uh, peppering going on. You can kind of see the little flecks and everything. There's actually some calories in here. Oh my God, there's 360 calories in this whole bottle. Not that you're gonna do this whole bottle in one go, hopefully, unless it's as delicious as the uh, hedonist uh, Las Calientes Rojo. By the way, I've started making recipes out of Danny Trejo's Trejo's Tacos. I just think that's kind of fun. So I think a lot of these sauces are gonna be cool in there. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So, all right, real quick, let's look this one up on the heat in this site, which I did not finish going to. So we go over here, we go to search, we go P-O-I, oops, R, and uh, we already got it, so we just go Louisiana hot sauce, we'll open it up. And this is a $12 hot sauce. 
and it is listed as a 3 out of 10. That's that's really mild. Good, good, good. Bayou Cayenne Celery. So that's one I think even Mary could taste if she wanted to. Okay. All right. And by the way, just so you know, I'm not going to show every time, but that's kind of what it looks like when I go and look these up. So that was fun. All right, now we're gonna pop open this box. I don't know if there's stickers. We did not get a sticker, at least not in the bag, but the sticker might be in the box because they usually send you some stickers. And I guess for this year, they're just being Grinches. So <laughs> I'm messing around. All right, we definitely only, wait, actually, you know what? I spoke too soon. We have, oh, well we have the heat in the sticker that we always get. So <laughs> there is that. I don't know if we're gonna get a theme sticker for Christmas or not. I don't think I feel any, Oh, wait, yeah, nope, here we go, here we go. They're under the sauces though, so I'm having trouble getting it out without like destroying the sticker. All right, so, oh, we just have the, uh, is that Truth or Dab? Oh, it's a Christmas version. It's a Christmas version of, uh, of their logo. So that's actually really cute. That's a cool sticker. All right, two more sauces and then we can taste them and then I can go have dinner. I try to do this on a clean palate, so. <laughs> We have, ooh, ooh, this is gonna be new. And you, oh, hopefully this is a milder one. We have hot ones. We have a heat in the sauce, the classic, but it's a black label, the classic, because it says it's the Pepper X edition. Mmm, but the classic has been very, very tasty. So Pepper X, bread over the course of a decade. Yeah, okay. I don't, I'm not gonna read that because I'll, I'll let you all read it. Um, it looks a little thin, a little watery, but it does look tasty. It's rather orange. I will pause on that one section in case you want to read it so you can kind of hit pause and see. Because that's basically just telling you about the Pepper X, the new hottest pepper, if I'm remembering. So, okay. Okay, well that could be very good, but let's see what it says on the heat in this app. Because I have a feeling, I was like, oh, the classic, that'll be like a one or a two. Then I saw Pepper X and I was like, oh, okay. And it's the black label, so I'm like, hmm. <laughs> they might finally have a classic that's gonna be even hotter. And I don't know if this is gonna be like for the new season or whatnot. To be honest, I'm not even seeing this on their website. So we can't even get a heat rating on this yet. It'll have to be on their card. Yeah, let's see if I, let me try, uh, let me try searching. Oh, come on, shoot, hold on. <laughs> Everything is going wrong here. All right, uh, let's see, close that out. The classic pepper. X edition. It is showing up in their search, so maybe you just have to specifically search it. Okay, it's in a three pack. I see it in a three pack. I do not see it by itself, but let's see if I can get the information out of the three pack. So it doesn't really tell me how much it is. Um, I'll try and go back and see if I can base that on something else. Ah, it's not giving me any heat levels on there. Oh, God damn it. So uh, apparently this is a 10 out of 10 and it's back. So apparently this, this was a limited edition in last December subscription box. Okay. Okay. Mm. 10 out of 10 though, man, <laughs> that makes me nervous. It looks like the other classics are about $10. This may be more because of Pepper X, but so far we're about $22. That's fine. So I'm going to assume that's a 10 out of 10 and that's the hottest one. Oh man. I don't want to do a 10 out of 10. I don't like 10 out of 10s. Sevens, I'm really happy with. Eight starts pushing me. Nines can be okay. I think I'm just still not over getting the bomb. I, the bomb is just, ugh. All right, so, oh, okay, this looks nice. Uh, we have the Atlanta Georgia Peach Hot Sauce. Community Gardens. Apple cider vinegar, jalapeno peppers, Thai chili peppers, peaches, onion, sugar, salt. That sounds nice and tasty and mild. Small ax peppers, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Plus, you know, Atlanta. Yeah, nothing else in the box, but it's a nice little two, two saucer. Another little kind of liquidy, nice and green from all the jalapenos. I just made a creamy jalapeno sauce the other day, but man, this recipe, it called for, it's like 12 jalapenos boiled, a couple cloves of garlic, and that's pretty much it. You're gonna boil it, put it in, in, a, in a blender, but then it's like two tablespoons of salt. And I did that, and that was a mistake. It's so salty. Anyways, <laughs> random story. You can see that happen in a Patreon vlog. All right, so let's look that one up. That looks really, really yummy. And let's see what kind of heat scaling we can get for that. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, phone, work with me here. We're, we're making videos. The Atlanta, Atlanta, often in Atlanta. 
flying through the airport. <laughs> not well, not in a year. All right, so this is another $10 sauce. So 32 bucks. So I'm gonna bet because this has Pepper X, this is more like a, and limited edition, it's more like a $16 sauce. So they probably did hit their value, but I cannot confirm that. And yes, the Thai chilies, peaches, community. Um, this is given a four out of 10. So we have a, was it a two or was it a three? I already forgot. Um, so no, not enough storage, blah, 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 phone. Yes, yeah, so we got a three out of 10, a four out of 10, and what I believe is a 10 out of 10. So at least this next part shouldn't be too painful. So I'm gonna get my plate out with my spoons. The plate is just in case I drip. I'm just trying not to drip everywhere. And we're gonna try all three of these. And after we try all three of these, uh, we will cut to me cooking something, but I will go ahead and read this with hot sauce tongue. That's kind of the plan. I kind of feel like that's the thing that makes everything fun here. So usually with these kind of things, we're gonna have a little uh, seal I'm gonna have to get off here. Yeah, okay. You know, who knew I would need to get Heidi Klum's husband off today? <laughs> and you know what? I amuse me. That's what's important. Wow, oh, this does not want to come off nicely. All right. Put this back together. Give it a bit of the old shake a shake -a, as Chef John would say. Pop the lid on this bad boy. And we'll cut down here so you can kind of see what I'm working with. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to give myself a lot of this. I got a good feeling. <laughs> so you can see uh, what that looks like. You get a little bit of idea of the texture. Ooh. Oh, that smells delightful. Oh, that vinegar smells delicious. All right, let's go for it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, just nice little, little bit of a tongue tingle. Mmm. A little bit of that pepper, that garlic, that vinegary tang. Mmm, that's just kind of a classic Louisiana hot sauce. And that's, mmm. Oh man, I, mm, I kinda wanna go back for seconds on that. Kinda wanna go put that on the El Pastor tacos I'm about to, I got some leftover. We made like five pounds of El Pastor in the video. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, that's a big win right there. That's, that's the kind of sauce that, you know, might get reordered. Nice, very good. Not blowing my nose yet. It's leaking a little bit, but I think that's just more from dust and allergies. All right, so let me find my way into the Atlanta. I don't see like the perforated section you often see on these things. Uh, you know what, let's uh, carefully use the, the very dull pocket knife. It's very dull so I don't hurt myself some of that off. I could probably stand and get a little bit more of that off. I'm just getting off everything today, aren't I? <laughs> so many jokes. You know what? That's fine. It's good enough. We'll give it a good shake it, shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Woo! What is that? Is that the peach? Yeah, a little, little potent of a fruity smell in there. So I'm assuming that's the peaches. A little of the apple cider vinegar, maybe. Smells pretty good though, I just wasn't prepared for it. All right, let's see what we get. We're down on this camera. Okay, definitely pours wet. That's fine. And I need to have one of my little hand cams down here in our hand light so you can kind of see this better, but you can kind of see the seasoning and stuff in there. Okay, it definitely has a, a fairly, I wouldn't say strong, but the peach smell is definitely there. And I'm not a huge peaches fan, but I can get behind some. So we'll see how peach and jalapeno goes together. That'll be interesting. Oh, really sweet up front. Hmm. Oh, damn, that's, oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, that is delicious. Damn, that's two for two in the flavor department. Definitely a little bit hotter. Yeah, all those flavors are coming through. Just a hint of the apple from the vinegar. A little bit of the peach, it's not overwhelming. The jalapenos are in there. Mmm, yeah, the sugar, the sugar. Making it a little bit sweeter. Yeah, it's got like this nice sweetness going on. The sweet and the heat. That's, that's a freaking winner right there, man. That would be amazing on scrambled eggs. I kind of want to go down and make scrambled eggs instead of leftover tacos. <laughs> oh, man, okay. I do need to wipe the tip of my nose though. It's dripping a little bit. 
Again, not from the heat. It is not terribly hot, but you know, there's definite heat there. All right, mmm. Mmm, okay. And now for some of this bullshit. <laughs> That's okay though, you know what? Heatonists, even when they get hot, their sauces are typically absolutely delicious. Um, I can't really say there's one I haven't had that I didn't like outside of maybe like, you know, the bomb Apollo. And that's more just because it was too damn hot. But I seem to recall the actual flavor being pretty tasty. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, kind of, I just smell heat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really getting uh, hmm, a lot out of there. Maybe it's just garlic is mostly what I'm getting. Again, I got to pour careful on this because this is a wet one. Okay, so we're down here so you can see what we're doing. Screw it. We're going big time. There you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that big chunk of pepper right there. <sighs> all right. If you're a religious person, say a prayer. Because we are all the Republic. Mmm. 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 Oh, that flavor. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Uh. 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 Oh boy. Oh shit, that may have been too much. The flavor is incredible. But then the heat kicks in and oh man. <gasps> Uh, uh, uh. I know, sorry, gross sounds, but... Oh. Uh. The flavor is fantastic. But my, my body is already like, no. Oh. Uh. 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 I want water so bad. Uh. Oh God. Oh. Yeah, but the flavor up front is very much like the classic. Mmm. A little sweet, a little delicious, garlicky. And then the 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 uh, the pain of the heat just It's like an enveloping heat. You just feel like it just walling up around around you and just coating everything. So I'm gonna read this thing, but for right now, why don't you guys watch me make some stuff? What's this in mama's hand? Eve it. What's this in mama's hand? <gasps> oh no, oh no, wheatgrass time. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so everybody, welcome to the cooking set, the cooking session. Hi Mary, can I show you? I didn't ask. <laughs> I, oh, I was, I, I was asking. Oh. <laughs> um, I assume you already done it. No, just your hand, but uh, Tabitha got a little clawy, unfortunately, today. She's been trimmed. She's been trimmed since. Um, any bits up here exploring? So, by the way, it smells like vinegar up here because my lady was super nice. She woke, she cleaned down the whole goddamn kitchen counter. She's awesome. Loves you. Ooh, that's for me. Y'all don't get that. That's mine. Mm -hmm. Grab it. All right, let me turn this camera around. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. It is after eight. I have not eaten. So I'm not really going to show you the cook session because it's just wings. I've shown you like a hundred times. I'm not going to make anything else because my weight right now is very unpleasant. Um, but we are going to do a little bit of a bonus before we get to the actual eating section. Um, I'm going to do a quick beer taste test. I, and based on one of the comments, I'm going to have another beer while we have the wings. So I think you'll appreciate that. So just to give you a little bit of extra content here, I just didn't want to set up the camera and then it slows me down. Um, you know, and I gotta cut up a chicken breast for Tabitha down there. Uh, but we're gonna try a beer. So we're gonna try this West Sixth uh, Brewery, which is a local Lexington, Kentucky brewery that I love. I love their cerveza. Um, and uh, their amber is not bad. Uh, but this is a Christmas ale. I'm not huge on a lot of the Christmas ales, but I got a bunch of these that I need to try. I haven't gotten through them. I know we're in January. We're gonna have this in my Stanley glass. Whoops. And uh, it fell in the garage a few weeks ago, so I'm gonna pop over to the sink to open it, just in case, especially since Mary did clean everything up in here. Uh, okay, it's definitely still 
Why your thumb? Oh, I just took a lick. I shouldn't have done that because now I kind of know. Oh, I got the damn counter after all. Mother of pearl. And I didn't get to tilt my glass. Well, this is all going horribly wrong. Welcome to the Eric Butts shit show. So I didn't get to tilt my glass, so obviously I'm getting way too much head in here. So beer people, forgive me. But this definitely was like trying to foam out. Damn it. If I had a place to set this up over the sink, I would have. And I can tell there's like one little sip left of beer in there. <laughs> uh, see if we can get it without it flowing down the sides of the glass. Well, at least what I licked off my hands tasted pretty good. I mean, it's definitely like Christmassy, but we'll get it. We'll get a real taste test here in a minute. We're gonna have to let that head settle down too. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and set this down and get a paper towel. Because that's what I do is I show up and I make things dirty. <laughs> um, also, I do have a new way I've been filming my cooking videos. So next time we do the cook here, um, I'll let y'all in on that. We got a better quality thing happening. Mm. Well, I'm gonna work with chicken over here. We'll need to wipe this back down anyways, so. And it does look like, oh, that's just the dribble from the can pour, okay. All right. So much wasted beer though. You can't see because this stupid phone. Although, uh, I do shoot on an iPhone. I also have a Samsung Galaxy. I like to keep uh, both phones just for both operating systems because I do so much online. It's nice for me to be able to check and have access to all operating systems. Um, but one of the reasons I usually film on my iPhone, and this is like just an old 10. My, is it a 10X? I don't think so. Uh, but I do that because I do edit on Macs and of course all the, the ecosystem. Airdrop, transferring files, so much easier than working on the Galaxy, which does have a better camera than this. However, I think this one's about paid off. I might be upgrading because I just found out the IMAX uh, 12 Pro shoots in Dolby Vision if you're shooting 4K. And like, I like Dolby Vision. All right, let's see, we got enough here. Ugh. Ugh. Sure. Mm, come on, don't spill over, don't spill over. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. And uh, we will take a sip here in just a second. And I'm gonna drink this while I cut up a chicken and make my chicken. Same way I've always done it. I got, you know, I got six whole wings. Uh, we're gonna cut off the wing tips. I'm not making stock, so I'm just tossing them. And then we just separate the the thumb, the, the drum, and the, uh, and the wing, the flats, drums and flats. Uh, a little salt, you know, towel them off just a little bit, a little salt and pepper in a bowl, and then boom, we're gonna fly, fry them in my uh, tea fall, whatever the hell it is, ultimate easy clean, which I love because of the oil pan and drains and makes life so much easier. And after this, I might need to change oil. It's, it's getting close to the end of that oil cycle. But, uh, you know, do this for about eight minutes. Throw them on a cooling rack and then we're gonna sauce them and eat them. And I got about seven cool questions, looks like, to answer while we do it. Might try a couple other sauces, because as you saw in the unboxing, we got some lighter sauces tonight, but I'm excited because they're so tasty. And uh, then we gotta hit that 10. But I think between the beer I have and the fattiness of the chicken, hopefully that 10 won't kill me too bad, because it didn't really kill me too bad just eating it. I think we could just about try this. What do you think, Stanley? No, you did not stutter. All right, let's, let's go for it, why not? Mm. Hmm. Took me a minute to actually get past the foam to the beer. Now, keep in mind, my favorite beers are like Mexican beers, Mexican style lagers. <sighs> I really like like Oktoberfest. I love Huff, Hef, German beers, Hefenweizen, Dunkels. I'm not big on like porters and you know, like the nuttier brown ales typically. I like amber ales. So this is definitely a chocolatey or... Okay, I still have all my fingers. She still has all her fingers, that's good. It does have all those Christmassy spices. It's pretty good. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to actually look up the, def the, the descriptor. And you'll be happy to know, Mary, I've already messed up the counter. Good job. I tried real hard not to. <laughs> At least I opened it over the uh, sink. <laughs> uh, let's see, because it's one of those I dropped a while back. What is this? West Six Brewery Christmas Ale. All right. West Six Brewery Christmas Ale. Let me give you the description. Christmas Ale, here we go. All right, our Christmas Ale is a big and bold winter warmer with a dark, sweet, and pop-ups, and complex malt character. 
complemented by an array of spices with orange peel, nutmeg, and cinnamon coming to the forefront. I get that. I got that nutmeg, I got that cinnamon. I kinda like it. It's settling into my mouth. The flavors are settling in nicely. So hops, magnum, malt, two row, Munich, caramel, special B, Abbey, roasted barley. I don't know what any of that means. I need to learn about beer stuff. Yeast, West Six House Ale. Oh my God, this has an ABV of 9%. Oh shit. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, ABV is alcohol by volume. Basically it's how much alcohol is in that one drink. On average beers are between four and six, the vast majority of beers, usually somewhere in a five, five and a half. This is a, this is a nine. <laughs> So you've got basically the port of beers. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so that's pretty crazy. So this is gonna be fun. All right, so tasting notes. The grain bill is the start with biscuit, caramel, toasty molasses, and dark fruit shining. Noble hops and these spices make it extra flavorful. Candy sugar, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, cloves, and orange peel. Food pairings, hearty stews, and caramelized desserts. I like that they do food pairings on here. I like their site. Uh, and then there's other recommendations. They like this beer, try from us. Snake Eyes Imperial Stout, Smithtown Brown, Pay It Forward, Cocoa Porter. I've had that Cocoa Porter, but again, I'm not a big Cocoa Porter fan. Let's give this thing one more try, and then I can get to uh, cutting some chicken and making my wings. Doing the rest of this. Mm. I do like it up front. It's a little bit like chocolatier than I typically like in my beers. But that's pretty good. That would go good with those hot cocoa chocolate cookies we had that I have another pack of. <laughs> Can't make them right now. Y'all, you were gonna get bacon wrapped Oreos, but I weigh way too much right now. <laughs> You're also maybe gonna get cream cheese stuff, bacon wrapped jalapenos, but. Yeah, it's tasty. I like it in the middle. It settles into a nice flavor at the end. I like this. As far as the Christmas ales go, this is one of the better ones I've had. I've reviewed a bunch of them over on Patreon and in the YouTube memberships, which I don't know if we told you about while I made this video, because they might've been too new. Uh, I've shot the unboxing a while ago. <laughs> but um, yeah, good stuff. All right, let me get to it. All right, so we have six wings. We have six, We have three drums, three flats. They're probably a little too hot to start eating right now. Uh, a couple minutes before these uh, wings, this is some of the fastest I ever made wings. I'm becoming like a pro at this. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, a couple minutes before it went happen, before, <laughs> before that happened, by the way, before they were ready. Um, oh boy. We have some questions tonight. I'll get to it. Uh, that beer, that, 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 that beer kicked in uh, on an empty stomach particularly. I felt it just hit me like a wave of, oh wow, I suddenly just relaxed. But before we get to that, there is actually, I, um, I also ask my YouTube members, we have YouTube memberships now. I have a handful of members on there that are getting exclusive content and exclusive perks, one of which is on my Discord. I just threw out in their, their private channel if you got any questions. So a couple of my favorite people uh, have some questions that we will get to. <laughs> I just kind of glanced at them. But before we get to that, I want to do this one comment before I eat anything because it leads to what's about to happen next. So uh, let's see. <clears throat> is it this one? All right. So. Clinton Wong, hi Clinton Wong. Thank you for your comment, thank you for your viewership. It says, have you ever tried Bell's Two Hearted? It's, his fa it's their favorite IPA. I'm sorry, I don't try not to assume things. I have not, again, not a huge IPA fan unless I'm having very spicy food, which as we know from the unboxing, I am leading to with a 10 out of 10. So, I went to uh, Total Wine today and did a little mix and matchy dealio and I got one. So that's why we're doing a little beer taste test. We are going to have this with the wings. Um, I do have a couple extra sauces, one, two. I threw in two extra sauces to try out that relate to hot ones. I got them from the heat in the site. We're gonna use the chewy glass. I'm gonna set my delicious wings to the side here while they're cooling off. Let's go ahead and pop the, I had not dropped this one on the ground, but we did throw it in the freezer, almost maybe too long, but actually I think it's about perfect. So let's see uh, what the pour on this looks like. And I should have Googled it. I was busy, I got ahead of myself. I Googled all the hot one sauces and information. So I have it mostly ready. But again, you're kind of, the, the point of these cook sessions, it's, it's also about me trying things, but it's also kind of mini vlog style. Uh, again, we do a lot of these vlogs on Patreon uh, every Tuesday, you get a vlog and they've become a lot of cooking vlogs lately. And then, um, mm. And these are not regular, but now with YouTube memberships, we have also started doing a bonus vlog over there <laughs> that's cooking, beer tasting, whatever. So those of you that miss my vlogs, you might wanna be checking some of that out. I don't quite get out and do the, 
Phew, like drone based montages <laughs> and stuff. But if you want to know, <laughs> Jesus, if you want to know what's going on in my life and all that stuff, you want to watch me cook, you want to watch me figure out how to make cooking videos because they are like very popular on my Patreon and my YouTube memberships. Um, so they might be coming, a version might be coming to YouTube. You might want to check that out. So we got Chewy, we got a good looking beer here. You know what, actually, ooh, hoo -hoo, it smells very soapy, for lack of a better term, uh, with that. So actually, let me Google this one real quick. What is this? Uh, Bell's Two Head Ale. Bell's Two Head Ale. Cool, they found it, and here we go. We'll open up their website. And, ugh, age verification. Uh, please enter your birth year. I am old, I am 1979. Not that it matters. They can't verify that I'm not telling lies just for their own legal self. So apparently this also comes in bottles. I just found the can. I would have got it in a bottle if I had known. But brewed with 100% centennial hops from the Pacific Northwest and named after the Two-Hearted River in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, our American IPA is bursting with hop aromas ranging from pine to grapefruit from massive hop additions in both the kettle and the fermenter. I'm not a huge pine fan. Don't get too disheartened if I don't like this. <laughs> Perfectly Perfectly balanced. Um, with a malt backbone and combined with the signature fruity aromas of Bell's house yeast, Two Hearted is remarkably drinkable and well-suited for adventurers everywhere. Jesus, the ABV is seven. Whew, I'm getting drunk tonight. Original gravity, 1.065. Shelf life, six months. Tasting note, bitter citrus pine. I like citrus. I don't really like bitter or pine. But maybe when we get to that 10, I'll really appreciate it. Uh, I don't care about the nutritional surveys. <laughs> Why would we do that? And they don't list IBUs. Huh, interesting that they don't do that. All right, so first we'll check this beer out, and then my wings ought to be just cool enough to start with our first sauce. Mm. It hits the tongue pretty nice. The citrus is there, the pine's there, it's not bad. It's definitely got that kind of hoppy, Bitterness coming in fast, but you know, it's not bad. For an IPA, this is probably one of the better ones I've had. Hmm. All right, well, uh, uh, thank you uh, for that suggestion there. Uh, I know it was C, I knew it was a CW, Cl Cl Clinton Wong, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm crap with names, but I appreciate that. So thank you for that suggestion. That's another thing you can throw in future Hot Ones videos. So on this video, go ahead and comment. I, I can't guarantee I'm going to try the beer every time or that I can find like where I can buy one to try, but if I can, I think that's a fun little addition to what we're doing here. Now, before we get to some more comments, we need to get to a wing. So first up, we are gonna use something that's not in the box, but did come from Hot Ones. You know, a while ago, um, they sent us Shaquanda's Spicier Smoke, and I am obsessed with that. It is delicious. You grill up a burger, you throw a thick slice of white onion under there, and just pour that on. You don't need anything else. Um, no cheese, no nothing, and it is amazing. Uh, went through a bottle, my dad loved it. I got him a couple extra bottles for Christmas. I got me a couple extra bottles for Christmas and because I loved the Shaquandas so much, and you saw in the last video we had the uh, West Indian curry, which was really good. There were two other Shaquandas I haven't tried, so we're gonna try those today. I have the, what is this? The uh, MX uh, Green Sass, and they wrote out hot. This is mild pepper sauce. Mary might even be up for trying this, although then I have to share a wing. Hmm. Uh, these 12 wings are my dinner, but if she eats some, then maybe I'll do some fries. So this is only a heat two out of 10, and it's described as a bright lime cilantro. Those are flavors I love. But uh, we're gonna try that before we get to one of the ones out of the box here. So we are going for five sauces. We have about six more uh, comments on the Hot Ones video, and a couple of questions in my uh, Patreon, or no, in my Discord. I'm running so many things now. Let's go with a drum on this. Oh man, that smells so good. Oh yeah, that lime, that cilantro, that's hitting. That is hitting nice. I don't know if I can, can I do this? We're, let's not have a pile of tissues here for when I get to that tin. I don't wanna mix it up with my napkins. And my nose is already going. I think, yeah, we can kinda show how I'm doing this here. I think you can kinda see what I'm doing. I will work on, did I, I did shake this, yeah. I will work on making this better for you. We have figured out how to make the other videos better in the future. Oh, that is chunky. That's not gonna be enough, but whatever, we'll give it a shot. Actually, that's definitely not enough. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I hate to go through it. That's the one problem. Why are hot sauce bottles so small? I guess most people don't eat through their hot sauce like I do. I'll give that a little toss around, try to get that sauce all over there. I got a feeling I'm gonna have another wing in this. I got six more wings to make off camera later because this is essentially my dinner tonight. It's a dozen wings. I can get down with that. It does seem like the heat has calmed down. Oh, it smells phenomenal. 
This is definitely gonna be more of a flavor than a heat sauce, which is fine, because I do love the flavor. All right, let's go for it. Mmm. 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 Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Yeah. Shaquanda's, man. That's where it's at. I'm gonna toss that with some more of that sauce. I'm gonna get some more scooped up on that <laughs> chicken because, oh, that is so freaking good. All right, let's find a, a question here. Sorry, I'm having to jump, jump around in a hundred different apps. You know what, this will be the easiest one because they were the first uh, comment on last months. You're actually getting two this month, so I'm catching up. I now need to find another box to fill out my Tuesdays. Uh, oh my God. Nuraku Ogre Huraku Hurakau. I'm sorry, I'm butchering that name. They just commented, Real Howat, H-A-W-T, hashtag first. Yes, you are. Thank you for the comment. Thank you for watching the videos. And thank you for enjoying. Mm. Oh my God, that was so good at all. Mm. Mm -hmm. The lime's not overpowering. Mm. Just the right amount of uh, cilantro. I think there might be like, a uh, jalapeno in there, because there's just a tiny, tiny, tiny touch of heat. Mmm. Mmm. Man, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Could you tell I'm very hungry? It's a combination of being very hungry, it being... Sorry. 9.20 p.m., and this is the first food I've had, but I got up very late, so. Mm. Damn, that's tasty. Mm. I want some more of that already. Like, I just wanna have all my wings in that sauce. That's, that's delicious. Okay, now we are gonna probably drink some beer along the way here, but I'm not quite ready for it. So let's get to one of the actual Hot Ones hot sauces. Oh my God, I'm already 10 minutes in. Uh, let me let me <laughs> look this up. And next we are doing one out of the box. We are going to do, I still can't pronounce this, Poirier, Poirier. We're doing this one. Louisiana, Louisiana style, Bayou, Katie, Ky, Bayou Cayenne Celery, a heat rating of three out of 10. And uh, just because I'm trying to keep my hands a little bit cleaner right now, we're gonna go with another drum. All right, let's get that all done. Now, I remember this being absolutely delicious when we did it in the, in the video. Hmm. Yeah, that's saucing nicely. A little extra sauce in there. I got a feeling I'm gonna want some more of this. Hmm. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks so good. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and look at all that like peppery goodness left in there too. All right, let me get my questions up. Why don't I just do the page jumping thing? There we go. Uh, we can do that one, okay. So, <clears throat> here we go. Mm. 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 Okay, that is really good. But I feel like it lost some of its greatness because of the fattiness and the, the grease of the wing. Kind of buries it a little bit. Like this would be better red beans and rice or something. It's not bad on a wing, but it's not as good as it was by itself. The chicken is definitely altering the flavor profile. Mmm, it's still good. All right, so next question. Uh, gosh, Michael Buk Buchan... Bukinawis, 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 Bukin, Bakun, Aiwis. I'm awful at this. Some reason I'm better when I'm doing drunken movie night. Anyways, from two weeks ago, I was filming this, which is, by the way, it's Saturday night. This comes out Tuesday. It says, hi, Eric. Hi, Michael. I saw the two roads in the fridge. Have you ever had their two juicy beer? Hold on, there's more to this. I gotta click read more. Uh, it's a New England IPA. 
So a bit hoppy, but very smooth and cloudy. I'm originally from New England and had two roads all the time. They have great stuff. I have not, I have not tried that. I tried to find it in the store, I could not. So I got like something called Two Roads or something that I'll try in the future. If I could have found it exactly, I would have tried it here for you, but sorry, I could not do that. But thank you for the comment, thank you for the suggestion. I will try to find it if I can and give it a shot because I'm always up for trying new beers. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. That's just so good. It's so good. Mm. Mm. It's just such a good sauce, man. Mm. Okay. We're almost done here. Mm. Oh man, such a mess. <laughs> but I figure that's why we consider hot wings a man food, manly food. Because at the end of the day, we just all want to be treated like babies. <laughs> oh, why do I feel like I'm gonna get some shit for that one? Um, you know, we like to eat messy foods and be swaddled, I don't know, I don't know. All right, all right. Well, thank you, Michael, for your comment. That was very nice. Okay, one, two, three, four, okay. Let's go ahead and do another question real quick and then we'll get to uh, the next Shaquandas I have. Um, we can do both of these. Uh, Godly Duck, that's a cool name. It says, who else is here from Star Wars video? I love this guy because of that. Um, then there's a reply that says same from Chris Pewitt. Uh, I assume they're talking about Star Wars Theory because I've got an influx of people from that because Star Wars Theory went through his own online shamed for crying over Star Wars BS. Well, I am a fan. I was a fan before he reached out. Well, he never reached out, uh, but before he threw some support behind me and sent a, a bunch of great fans, I'm still a fan. Um, I also recently saw Tyrone Magnus reacting to his like cinematic for, I didn't watch it, but I watched like the first few seconds. His cinematic for his second episode of the short film series. And I know a lot of you have asked me to watch Vader Shards of the Past or whatever it is, but I saw, uh, Star Wars Theory saying he wants people to do reaction videos. So I, at some point, might actually finally give you a reaction video to Shards of Vader's Past or whatever it's called. But yeah, Star Wars Theory, I know there's some controversy going on there, or he's had some controversy or whatever, but I mean, from what I've seen, I really like him, I really enjoy him. I do sometimes wonder, though, like when he like reviews a comic or whatever, he basically tells you the whole story, and I feel kind of odd about, I mean, I watched it, so I can't complain, but kind of odd about, it's like, you take away people's need to go buy the thing. I don't know if that really falls under fear. I need a haircut. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. We are gonna try. Also not in the box, Shaquanda's hot pepper sauce. The only other Shaquanda they have on there. And um, I'm excited to check this one out. I think this was a three or a four. Um, this is a three. It was a three out of 10. It's really an island sunshine peppery. But so far, every Shaquanda's I've had are fantastic. Spicier smoke is still my favorite, but this is great too. So let's see if we can get you a good shot. Well, I put some, so this looks like it might be a little bit thicker. Yeah, we got that old ketchup commercial from the eighties. Good things come to those who wait. But I'm getting a little tingle going on on my, this is very thick. <laughs> a little tingle going on on my tonsils. Or really my tongue, just tonsils sounded like the funny, funnier word to use. Okay, this is more definitely thick, more like the spicier smoke. Matter of fact, I kind of have to, I gotta get it going. We can't take 10 minutes just, uh, damn, this does not wanna come out at all. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a much thicker uh, sauce than I would've anticipated it being. I'm sure, I'm not worried about the heat, but ooh. Oh yeah, that like lemony, lemony, peppery smell is coming out. This will coat a wing good if you do it right, but like, I'm not doing it right. <laughs> It's also because it's the uh, the drum and it's harder to get in some of the crevices of the drum. But that's good. I think we can get a good taste of it. Mm. Yeah. Definitely a bit of a lemon pepper going on. Mm. It's tasty. I don't know if it's great on wings. It might be better like on chicken like breasts or something, but mm. It's not very hot. I think it's less hot than the Louisiana one we just had that I can't pronounce, but 
Flavor-wise, very good. It's probably my least favorite of the Shaquandos, but very good. Oh, well, well, you know, some of that peppery heat is coming in on the back end. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Mm. All right. So as far as Shaquandas goes, I think it's my least favorite. It's still good. I would probably buy it again. <laughs> um, then the curry is right above that and that green one we started with. And then uh, spicier smoke on top of all that. Mm. Oh man, we still got two more sauces to go. Whew, all right, I need to speed this up a little bit. All right, let me get back to um, comments. So, Sully Crossman, I love your videos. Well, thank you, Sully Crossman. Thank you for the comment. Thank you for giving me some support and just some fun. It's always nice to hear you. Yeah, all that pepper is building up. I got a, I got a, I got a buzzing tongue now. Mm. And I also kind of want to drink the beer, just to give you the beer taste test, but I realize I'm trying to do this like I would if I was on the show and not have a drink in between. Um... Since I'm gonna have some other questions and we only got two more sauces, let's go ahead and do the last comment. So please comment in the future. Give me some more questions here. Or get on the Discord. And if you're a YouTube member, I'll ask you some stuff. Or just get on the Discord, it's real fun. Uh, but Cow Show is back. Hi, Cow Show. Thank you for uh, rejoining us. And thank you for your awesome comment last time. And now you've got mm, another awesome comment today. When I haven't really had time to think about but the comment is, great video. The quality and the focusing has been excellent on the unboxing. Surprise, you picked vinyl as your favorite box. And uh, then asks, what's your favorite horror series? Actually, I was thinking this was gonna be a tough question, but it's actually not. Um, even though I haven't watched them in a while, because there's a whole thing going on with the 4K set that a lot of you will probably know about if you've tried to get one, especially in the States. But uh, it's gonna be George Romero's uh, Dead Saga. Because even the last couple, which I didn't love, love, I still really appreciate, but Not Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, still two of the greatest movies ever made. Uh, even the remake, James Gunn written, Zack Snyder directed remake of Dawn of the Dead is fantastic. Day of the Dead holds up like like gangbusters, probably more so today. It's probably worth re-watching today if you haven't been in a minute. And then, um, what was the other? Uh, you know, and then Land of the Dead is fantastic as well. Also holds up very well for today's audiences. But then if like you're going classic slashers like Michael, Jason, Freddy, it's easily a Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. I love all those movies. New Nightmare is insanely good. Freddy's Dead is super fun. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is super underrated, but awesome. I can't see what I'm doing. We're to the flats. Oh, that's a lot. Not that I'm worried about spice levels, but I don't want to waste sauce. This one being really good, by the way, we are on the Atlanta. Um, I'm about ready to rewatch Scream, because that's a great series too. Again, Wes Craven. You know, I love my Friday the 13th. Jason's always a very close second to uh, Freddy Krueger. And again, picking a favorite of something like that is a lot harder because I've had years and years and years of watching those things. Um, so, you know, I mean, Phantasm, Phantasm's way up there. That entire saga is incredible. So very good, very, very good question. Thank you, Cal Show, for that. I really do appreciate it. Let's see, so what is this one? This is... A four out of 10, this is Thai Chili's Peaches Community. Now I know what Joel McHale tastes like. All right, and this is a flat too, so. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, mm. Mm, mm. Yeah, that peach flavor, that's really good. That's such an un unexpected thing for me too, because uh, I'm not a huge fan of the flavor of peach. Mmm, but boy, does it sure work here. Mmm. I think I just lost some chicken somewhere. <laughs> That's right, at least it's not on Mary's Clean Counters. Mmm. <laughs> Which was totally unexpected and really, really nice of her. Mmm. No, in hindsight, <laughs> it might have been smarter to wait till I was done. <laughs> so. She is the best. And this living together thing has been pretty fantastic. A little adjustments here and there, but... Mm. I think her and I have been together, and now living in this house together, I've been here over six months. But I think at this point, 
she's been here about six months too, and it's been wonderful. And that's even with uh, not being able to go into work, you know, because pandemic, she's rarely actually has to go into work, so. Okay, well that was delicious, oh boy. Now we gotta move on to some death sauce. And I'll read those YouTube questions. I really should have put the death sauce on a drumstick in hindsight. Oh boy, I'm just really, oh, I, found, I think I found that chicken. I mean, I lost it again. <laughs> All right, so before we do this, I couldn't get the information. You can't find this individually on the heat in the site. It's only in a, in a set, but we know it's a 10 out of 10. I did find that much. That said, let me, um, Oh Jesus, okay, they asked me way too many questions. Brittany Ezio, um, I, should have, I should have been more clear, but um, it's my fault, I asked all this last second, but I'm just gonna pick one from each of them once we start eating this. Because yeah, they have asked a lot of questions. I was not very clear that I was just looking for like one or two questions, I wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go careful with this, especially because it's very watery, so it's gonna come out real easy. Mm. Oh, that's, oh, what have I done? What have I done? At least I know the flavor on this is fantastic. Pretty sure Sean Evans would be laughing at me though right now for putting that much on there. Luckily it's kind of watery, so it doesn't want to hang on there too well. <laughs> oh, it smells good though. It does smell really good. Okay. And you see that I've definitely got it super coated. I dread this. I dread this. Mm. It does start really tasty though. All right. <clears throat> As you know, what kind of TP do you use? He's a Charmin guy himself. Elmo, just kidding. I'm not, I, I love Charmin, the uh, extra, but that's not gonna be your question. I'll give you a real one. Um, Ezio, cool, when did you decide to be a YouTuber? Shortly after Mary and I went on our first uh, vacations to Secrets together, I'd kind of been doing it. Um, Cause I made a record, right? And you can buy it on Amazon or whatever, check it out on Spotify. It's Eric Butts, what I know right now. Oh, that heat, it was coming in, yeah. And um, mm. <coughs> I <clears throat> wanted an audience. Oh, that's bad. I don't know if I can do this, hold on. Um, so, I figured I'd do a YouTube to build an audience. So when I made new things, I wasn't screaming to the empty void. I had people who would listen. Then YouTube became the job. Um, I, I really remember, uh, Mm, no, no, fuck that, I'm never having that again. Oh, I really, uh, mm, why would I do that? I'm gonna get in that beer, hold on. I really, I really oh, fuck. Oh, uh, the chicken grease not, not helping. Yeah, it's beer time, I made it through them, fuck. Mm, mm, mm. Uh. Dying? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I really remember, I wanted to get into reactions because I cried like a baby to the, <sighs> force awake a trailer on the toilet. Oh. Mm. And that's when I knew I should do reactions because I'm like, God, if I did this on camera, people would enjoy it because I would enjoy it. Uh. Do you need milk? No, I'm drinking beer. <laughs> I think that's worse than when I had the spoonful. So which one's this one? Mm -hmm. This one. Ten. The classic hot sauce. With a pot, with a pepper X. Yeah. Uh, never again. Um, that's why I did reactions. Uh, unboxings because I had a film gear. I was like, I should film this. Mm, mm. That's when it started. I watched people do unboxings. I bought a box. I liked it. I thought I could do that. 
and then the reactions. Fuck. <sighs> Is it worse than the Apollo? Uh, I can't answer questions, dude. I love you, but I can't answer questions. I thought that was the whole point. Of people asking I have questions. That. I can barely answer that question. I love you. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go feed the kids. Don't mm. die on me. Mm. 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 <laughs> uh. Kids, daddy's trying to kill himself. <laughs> uh. Uh. So yeah, so that's where the unboxing started. That's how we went to reactions. Uh. Uh. And then everything else is just like, I want to do more. Oh, because we went on vacation. Came home from vacation. And I was like, if I'm going to do this, I need to really do it. All right, all right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Ah, that was so much worse. That was so much worse. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. Um, uh, looking for one that I want to answer from Brittany. Uh, huh. oh, I'll get Brittany too. Uh, how many times have you traveled outside the country? Mm. Uh, twice to Playa hers. Once to the Bahamas when I was a kid. Oh, twice to Jamaica. Dominican Republic. Capri. I haven't been out any more than that. Mm. Got it under my thumbnail and it hurts. So I guess that many times? However many that was. And then, uh, yeah, she asked one more question. That's a good question. Uh, are we annoying you with all these questions? <laughs> Not annoying, but it's more than I wanted, but that's my fault. This is helping. It's better with the heat, but I can't say I love it. But I do appreciate the suggestion. I just don't like IPAs. Mm. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna eat this fucking wing, sauceless, just to kind of help. And then I'm gonna go make my other six wings and eat them with like a two sauce. Mmm. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, thank you, thank you, buttery, oily. Oh. Mmm. Okay, so, if you got questions, I wanna hear them. <laughs> so make sure you leave your questions on this video. Or if you're becoming a YouTube member, make sure you go over to our Discord. Or go over to the Discord even if you're not a YouTube member. There's a ton of fun stuff. We're, that's, we're having a party over there, man. I'm talking to people all the time over there. You know how like I suck at answering questions and stuff on here? Not over there. Mm. Also, we have like a level up game. Um, Turks and. Mm. You only have to be a wallflower. Mm. Oh my god. Alright, well, mm. fuck you, Heatonist. In the best of ways. <sighs> Thank you, everybody. I'm gonna go die now. It's calming down. It's calming down, but I'm gonna go die now. Bye. Okay, Mary, Mary just walked upstairs. She's worried. She brought milk. <laughs> Didn't bring me anything to drink it out of. Drink it out of the jug. It was like it was like two <laughs> seconds. No, I'm not gonna drink it out of the jug. All right, so I want to read this while I'm in pain. In pain. Here's okay. the. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, oh God. Um. Yeah, December, whatever, it's, it's that. I'm gonna read this back here, but I'm gonna let you look at it real quick. I'm gonna be okay, Mary, I'll be okay, but damn. Is it worse than the Apollo? Huh? Is it worse than the Apollo? No, I don't think it's necessarily worse, well, it's not worse than the, well, I think the flavor's better. The heat experience is different. Um, But it's like the same pepper, it's the Pepper X, the new, uh, or Apollo pepper, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay, do your thing. All right, um, so the front, December 2020, in this month's episode, Sean decorates his uh, tree the only way a Spice Lord knows how to, caption this cartoon and tag, at Heatness and at First We Feast for a chance to win a free bottle of sauce. 
The extremity of the heat is kind of died down, but everything is still on fire. Still very tingly. My nose is going. Here we go. Happy holidays, Spice Lords. I feel my tongue swelling. 2020 has been a year for the Hot Ones history books. As the world went into lockdown, Hot Ones came home as never before. From Truth or Dab, the game show, the fuel for many a late night laugh riot at Heat HQ, and Hot Ones, the game show, uh, to watching stars like Matthew McConaughey and T-Pain go overboard on dousing their own wings, the Hot Ones fam has had many occasions to come together, digitally of course. We're incredibly grateful for the day one fans, oh, for the day one fans who have supported us through it all and made this year one of Hot Ones most memorable yet. We've had some amazing launches this year from the classic Blue Label to the last dab Apollo and our new Nugget Honey. You know we couldn't close out 2020 without piling on a few more gems. This month's shipment features <coughs> two brand new sauces from your favorite makers and the return of a holiday special that longtime subscribers will recognize. We hope these sauces fill you with joy, fill your imagination, and warm your spirits this holiday season. They're warming something. They're gonna warm up my toilet bowl. That's what they're gonna warm. All right, okay, it is, it is, everything is still tingly, but the heat does seem to be calming. All right, so we have Heartbeat X, Dustin Poirier, Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure I am. Poirier's Louisiana style. He's a fighter, a father, and a sauce fanatic. Our friends at Heartbeat Hot Sauce partnered with UFC favorite Dustin Poirier, again, I'm sorry, not a UFC guy, um, to create an ode to his Louisiana roots. This mild sauce, which uh, starts with fermented cayenne peppers and mouth puckering vinegar with a touch of garlic, a kiss of salt, celery, and red habanero from an extra hit of heat I'm sorry, for an extra hit of heat, finish the whole thing off. A knockout on everything from southern classics like shrimp and grits, ooh, to healthy fight fuel like broiled chicken or salmon. Pro tip, speed up your saucing and avoid seed bits causing nozzle, clog, nozzle clogs by taking off the cap like the normal sauce bottle. That is a pro tip. I don't know why I would not have thought of that. Then we have Small Axe Peppers Atlanta Hot Sauce. When the team at Small Axe asked for help picking the next city, of their community garden collaborative hot sauce. That's cool. We polled the people and the people answered, Atlanta! Small Axe partnered with gardens across the city uh, to source peppers for a sauce as sweet as a Georgia peach. Featuring jalapenos, Thai chili peppers, and real peaches, this medium heat sauce makes an amazing glaze for holiday dishes, but will please the palate all year long. Yeah, I'm excited to try it on things. Man, it's like, it's still like, it's like, it's like burning, but not painful burning. Like I can tell I've eaten hot food still, like very much my tongue is coated, but like the pain is kind of subsiding. My stomach is still like, I don't know what to do here. Also, I'm on an empty stomach. That That's probably part of it. Hot Ones, the classic Pepper X edition. You emailed, you tweeted, you slid into DMs. This end of season tip of the cap is a crowd favorite. We included in last December subscription box and you couldn't get enough. Backed by popular demand, it's the classic Pepper X edition. The spiciest batch of the classic ever. It's got the splashy texture of the original combined with the powerful Pepper X heat. Try it on a bold batch of wings or mix it with sour cream as a cool dipping sauce. That could be interesting. This month's sicker is an ode to the merriest and zestiest of seasons. May you be blessed with an abundant spice of the year ahead. Wishing you and yours happy holidays and a hot new year. We're continuously grateful for the opportunity to keep bringing you inventive new sauces that liven up mealtimes and spice up your journeys. Thank you for being a part of this community. Stay spicy, Noah. All right, thank you. This was great. <clears throat> Those two, the first two are amazing. The classic is actually really good. It's just really hot. But yeah, maybe mix with a bit of a cooling agent or like, you know, dash it into a chili or something. Just straight though. It's like, whew. Although, you know, on a wing, all that like fat content from the, the from the meat and the wing and the oil might actually mellow it out just enough to be a really hot but delicious wing. So I may have to try that. We may cook wings. I don't know what we cooked. Do you know what I cooked? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm now in the past. Uh, that's in the future. But uh, what do y'all think about it? Have you tried any of these sauces? What's your favorite? If you got other hot sauces you love, what are your favorites there? I'd love to hear them and maybe even try them if I can find them. Um, so let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. You can give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. You can click that join button for more food shenanigans and other things. You can come on over to our Discord and show me off your food, show me your recipes. We're talking about hot sauces all day, son. I can't believe I just said that. I'm in a hot sauce euphoria right now. 
Um, so that link's in the description. There's also the merch store link in the description, which I need me like on fire. I need like a fire breathing Eric. Maybe I'll see if Mary will draw that, uh, get that on a shirt. Um, and uh, patreon.com, the Eric Butts, and link in the description for that as well. Okay, I think it's, it's actually, the mouth is just about to start to feel normal. Um, so that's cool. But now I gotta go drink some water and, uh, and, uh, yeah, eat some dinner. All right, everybody, thank you. That's it. I'm out. I'll see you all later. Stay spicy. <laughs>